with the permission of my father, a few halachot of Kibbutz and then we're going to continue the Sefer Derech Eretz. Today we want to see two halachot. Is a person allowed to call his father by the last name? Sometimes people are going to ask you, what's your father's last name or what's your mother's last name? Are you allowed to say their last name? Or do you have to first give them a title like saying my mother, my master? Or can you just go ahead and say the last name? So he says of here, This is that we said yesterday that you're not allowed to call your father by his first name, whether he's alive or not alive. That's specifically by his first name, the people, the name that people call him. Aval, however, mutar. But to call him by the family name, it is going to be permissible. Vim, so that's halach number one. Halach number two. What happens if your name's father is Abba, or if your name's mother is Mazal Tov? So now you want to say Abba, right? Because you want to call him father, but that's his name. Or you want to wish somebody a Mazal Tov. The mother, but that's the mother's name, but you want to wish her Mazalto. Can you say it or not? Can the children say it or not? If a person's father's name is Abba, you, the children are allowed to call him Abba. Where it's recognizable that he's calling to his father in an honorable word, in an honorable way. It's not like saying Abba. Say Abba, like Papa, come, right? Tate. Vichen im shem imo mazalto. And so too, the halach is going to be if his mother's name is mazalto. Mutar la chela birkat mazalto me oto hatam. For the same reason, if you want to wish, if the children want to wish the parents, the mother over here in this case, a mazalto, and that's what's her name, you're allowed to go ahead and you're allowed to tell the mother mazalto, but we have to make sure that it's done. B'derech kavod in an honorable way. Rabotai, the Sefer of Elam O'Mikshol, we're starting Perek Aleph, B'zrat Hashem, B'lineder, Derech Eretz Kadmah Torah, that's what we're going to try to speak about. It's a whole Sefer. Before I do begin, somebody asked me a very simple question, and that is, why do you tell the people the way it's written in the Torah? Why don't you sugarcoat the Torah? Chas v'shalom, correct? Why don't you tell nice stories, right? Make it easy on them so they can go home and sleep nice and feel better. So tomorrow they can come back and they can love you and honor you more. Rabotai, number one, number two, we don't need no people to love you, no people to honor you. The Torah tells us, if you are clean before Hashem, you'll be clean before people. If you do what Hashem wants, everybody else will come and honor you and love you. That's not what you're doing it for. You are here to serve Hashem. So we only have to do the rotten of Hashem. But Rabotai, I want to give you a real life example where a lot of us can relate to why it is very dangerous not to sugarcoat anything when it comes to these things. I'll explain to you why. Rabotai, what happens if a person right now has to go to a doctor? For whatever reason, he has a certain low in shalom illness. He has to go to the doctor, and you know that this doctor, number one, has no license. Number two, he never even took doctor, nothing, no college, shumdavar. But he's a doctor, right? He went, he took the test, he faked it, he paid the money out, that he's a doctor. But the guy doesn't heal. All the guy does is kill people, chas shalom. He's a very bad doctor. Tell me, if your cousin wants to go to, the, to this doctor... Tell me, you're going to tell the cousin to go or not to go? Huh? You're going to tell the cousin that this doctor is a bad doctor or not? Yeah. Why? Be nice. Let him go. Let them find out for themselves. Because after then, it's going to be too late. No, then he's going to be dead by then. Chas v'shalom. Rabotai, over here is the same thing. If you can understand this whole concept by materialism, where it's only physical body. It's only your body. There's nothing there. <clears throat> you're only trying to save the body. But how much more so when it comes to a person's neshama? Because you know it's wrong. <clears throat> you know it's asur. And you're not going to say anything. It's as if it's nothing happens. Right? A person sits in, sits in a mixed party. Man, woman, dancing. Woman come half naked. Husband sitting drinking. L'chaim, l'chaim. The balabai, the guy who's making the party, has people, woman dancing on the stage. Everybody, three, four hundred people, not one person cares. 
Работай, а лесно с кефули. Борете со мной? Yes, sir. Рамоша Хайм Мутац е right, I should, this, I should read him one time for you guys inside. These people, the Ramchal, correct. These people, Artur John, that sit with you over there, or on the beach, or on the pool, or in the movie theaters, I don't care where they're going to be. When it comes to go against Hashem and they're sitting with you and they're joining you, Rabotai, these people are not friends. These people are your number one enemies. You have to run from them from the furthest. Because had they cared about your Nishama, had they cared about your Olam Abba, Artur, they would have told you this is wrong. We shouldn't be here. Not only you, I shouldn't also be here. But we go, we sit, we pay, and we do our verbs and we have no problem. You know why? Because we can't relate to our neshama. That's the problem. Rabotai, I'm telling you right now, if you know the truth, come up to the person nicely, explain to them, because you have to learn the halachot of tochi, chochi, et You have to learn the halachot of what does it mean to rebuke your fellow man, how to rebuke your fellow man. You have to learn this halachot. Don't think you're going to be exempt just because you don't want to say it. A person has to go ahead and he has to be able to educate his friend, his family members. He has to, Rabotai, if he doesn't do it, you know what's going to end up happening? Very simple. After 120, when these people die and they're going to know that you knew this, they're going to say, but why didn't you tell me? Like that case that I gave you a parable with the doctor. Why, when you know when he's going to a bad doctor, you say he's a bad doctor. But when it comes to doing wrong things, you're not saying anything, Rabotai, you're killing away his neshama, you're killing the potential, uh, the potential that he has, and the olamaba that he could have gotten. And you're not allowing him to have it because you're supporting him. Take it easy, Rabbi. Rabotai, I'm not against taking it easy. Take it as easy as much as you want. But you know, and I remember going to school from kindergarten to first grade to second grade. You got to always move up one grade, second grade, college, master's, bachelor, whatever it is, associate, whatever it is. You move associates, right? Bachelor's, master's, you got to go up higher. But Rabotai, 40 years later, I look at Mil John. The same people, take it easy, Rabbi. So I tell you what, keep yourself in kindergarten all your life and see what happens. Rabotai is not about taking it easy. It's about knowing what's, what needs to be done and doing it. That's how it works. That's how simple it is. So therefore, when it comes to sugarcoat the Torah, shalom, that you should never do. You should tell the person, this is the way it is. You know, I never understood how come my body, the IRS, when they come after you, the DA, when they come after you, the FBI, when they come after you, not you, Hashem, but saying in general, when they come after people, they arrest you, they take a bomb, they throw you to jail. Oh, one second, the guy has 15 children. All right, so he, he, he screwed the system. All right, man. But what about his wife? Oh, come on. Derek Kadmale Torah. For sure, it's going to be more before money, no? Nika Nyatu. This we understand. No, Rabotai. The same thing by Torah, Rabotai. A person needs to be able to go in the way Torah without deviating left or right. And this is our problem. We don't have this, Rabotai. And this is why we need to learn as much as possible. We need to make time as much as possible. And I'm telling you, just like you guys, I don't know, I know my father, Brian Harrell, he paid a lot of money, almost over $100,000 for St. John's Easy. And that's without me even taking loans. I had to take loans on the side. Easy for me to be able to go to St. John's, get educated, etc. He paid that money for what? For me to have an education, to be able to put myself over here on, on my feet. Yes or no, Artur John, they paid? But why when it comes to rabbis, chas v'shal, right? You don't hire rabbis to teach your children. Why not? Take a rabbi, give him $100,000. T- t- take my son, make him a big time chacham. We don't do this. Because we don't believe in the next world. I know it's there. But we don't believe it's there. That's it. Rabbi Otay, we have to be to work on this. Let me read for you ready, over here really quick. What he says over here, Derek Eres Kedmala Torah. Amru Rabbi Otay, Zuchron, Verkabi, Masech, Davot, Per Gimel, Mishach, Av Aleph. If in Torah, in Derek Eres. If a person does not have Torah, he has no Derek Eres. In Derek Eres, in Torah. But if a person does not have Derek Eres, in Torah. Rabbi Otay, what does it mean if a person does not have Derek Eres? There's no Torah. Umeve'er Rabbi Yon, Rabbi Yon explains... Listen to this carefully. Ha Torah lo oilom eno shochenet beguf she eno bal mitot tovot. This is very important. The Torah will never rest in a body that if that person does not have good mitot. So when a person can scream at his wife, curse his wife, or use foul language, and then he learns Torah twenty hours, twenty four hours, seven days a week, he ain't got no Torah. He got hot air, but not Torah. 
You have to be able to realize, you have to be able to see this. If you see Chas Roshal, people with beards and black hats, and they're sitting in place and they're doing things they're not supposed to do. Oh, Rabbi Del, Rabbi Edom Moshe Del, Rabbi this Rabbi and you are not going to be in the same place in the next world. Who knows where he's going to be, where you're going to be. You're going to say, oh, but that Rabbi, which Rabbi? Which Rabbi? In this world, you know how we say in this, in this world, all for one, one for all, correct? In the next world, when under the ground, man, it's one for one. So whatever, one for one. No, it's already said about time. No, but he's not going to care. This, that. Hashem is going to take each thing into, into calculation. V'lachen, <coughs> therefore, V'lachen, if shal shadam, yilmat Torah. There it's impossible for a person to learn Torah if he does not have good midot. V'rag l'achir miken yavod al midot. Rabotai, it's impossible for a person to learn Torah and only then try to work on his character traits. Rather, this is how you have to start. Eila, bitchila yesh l'avod al midot haraot. First, you have to work on your character traits and you have to change them for the better. Only afterwards, the Torah is going to be able to be fulfilled by you. It's going to rest by you. Now you guys can understand. Maybe why when we say that you're not allowed to do certain avirahs and we still do it. Very simple. The Torah does not rest. It's not in your heart. You know why? Because we do not have good midot. As simple as this. You might be nice over here. But at home, who knows what's going on? The Ukeze Katab Rabbeinu Chaim Vital. Similarly to this, Rabbeinu Chaim Vital wrote, Yoter Tzarich Lezeher Mimidot Araot. A person has to be more careful from bad midot. Me'asher Likayem Mitzvot Ase Velot Ase. More than trying to fulfill positive commandments and negative commandments. Everybody who skips Shabbat, oh, Yom Kippur, oh, Tefillin, oh, Bracha, Baruch Atah, everybody, all these... Everything is a fa facade. But when it comes to Midot, Midot, Kaim, Yudhi, we curse people, we rip people off, we have no respect for one another. Rav Chaim Vital says it's better. A person has to be more careful in bad character traits than trying to do mitzvot. Why Rabotai? Why is that? Adam Ba'al Midot Tavot. Being that a person is going to be good, he's going to have a body of good Midot, Binakeli Kaim Kol Mitzvot. Only then you're going to be, it's going to be easy for you to fulfill the mitzvot. That he says of you, Rabbi Tai, the Alpizebir, Hagaon Rav Yaakov, Sofir Madua. See there, Rambam Hilchot the Ode, Rabbi If you look into the Rambam Sefer, he has many, many books. Hilchot the Ode was the first one before Talmud Torah. Why did he do that? The Haray Talmud Torah can't get come, but isn't Talmud Torah before anything? The Imken Hayalon Lechtov, Halachot Talmud Torah, Bitchila Chiburo. Before authoring his book, the Rambam should have put, the halachot of Talmud Torah, then the halachot of De'ot. Rabbi Otay, he says, we're forced to say over here, Shah Rambam Ratalat Gish, he wanted to emphasize this, Rabbi Otay. Im en derech eris en Torah. If a person does not have a derech eris, he does not have Torah. Velachen, that's what he went ahead, and he dim hilchot De'ot. That's what he went, and he first taught you the halachot of Midot. Kedel alam denu, ketad lachshiru tkenet midotenu, vetechunotenu od how a person has to prepare himself, fix himself, the midot, his inner being, before he even comes to learn Torah. And that's why Rabbi I listened to this when I saw this yesterday. I was shocked. I tell you all the time, that's what Allah says. Torah is primary. Work is secondary. Rabbi look over here what the Tan de Yahu writes. And Tosh Yishanim, in Masech Yoma, Pehei Amud Bed. You do im divrei Eliyahu Navi zechulotov. We know the words of Eliyahu Navi. May he be blessed of memory. Besever tan de Eliyahu shamar in the book tan de Eliyahu that he said, derech eres kadmal le Torah. Right, proper conduct is better than it, 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 it preceded, it advanced before Torah. The Rabbeinu Yaakov Ragil Hayalomar. Listen to this. Rabbeinu Yaakov was accustomed to saying, shetalmud Torah. Talmud Torah is secondary to Derek Eretz. Wow. We've been learning over here, Talmud Torah is primary. Work is secondary. But when it comes to Midot, learning Torah is secondary. And having good Midot is primary. Rabotai, we may be zoiche to work at ourselves and become better people. Baruch Adonai Olam. Amen. 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 Amen